All right, Eric, here we are, driving back from Lionhead. Um, I think we should talk about when people go in the backcountry, like how many pits should they be digging? Because we're always talking about in the advisories, dig a pit, dig a pit. Like, what are we thinking? 10, 20, 3, 1, 20. 20. <laughs> yeah, I the want more, 20 pits. The better. <laughs> No, so what do you do? Like when not not so much for work, but like when you're heading out, like what do you what are you doing? Uh, I think a lot of it is dependent on my objective and what I what my goal is for the day. Like today, we went to the Lion Head area with a goal to assess the structure, and so we dug multiple pits, different aspects, still at different elevations. Well, how many? What's multiple? We dug two today. Okay, but I think we just by doing that I think we achieved our goal and sometimes I'll dig four or five and, and we achieved our goal because we found the weak snow we were we were hunting for instability and it didn't take much to find that in the lion head area <laughs> no, it didn't. but but if I'm going to a place that I'm unfamiliar with and let's say I'm just skiing for fun by myself I am gonna by yourself or not <laughs> God, not on the clock. <laughs> I uh, the clock is always my partner when I'm working. But no, if I'm just going into the field, um, you know, with for for fun with friends, I I will always dig a pit or two. I think it's just ingrained in me. And if I'm going to dig multiple, or if I'm going to ski multiple slopes, I'm going to probably dig a pit on every slope. So, what are the dis- are there disadvantages to? digging that much um you know I think obviously digging a pit takes time I think that's probably the biggest disadvantage and the biggest deterrent for people is they're like I don't want to take the time to dig a pit I know I'll just stick my pole in the snow and see you know call it good or I'll see if there's going to be any cracking or collapsing but and what do you think is the biggest advantage of digging since you do it so uh, much I think once you get used to digging pits, they only take five minutes, five to ten max. You can gather the information you need, and um, obviously you're going to see if the structure is capable of producing an avalanche for the most part. And so it's it's an insurance policy that I think is well worth the time. 